and it worked. He didn't feel bad, he felt, you know, it was a life-affirming thing. It was, it was a tremendous script and really beautiful and, and well-crafted. Um, the producers, when they were editing it, chickened out and they, fe they felt that Shirley was so sympathetic in the course of the film that they couldn't kill her off. So at the end of the film, as edited, they no longer kill her. But in doing that, they changed my sequence. All of my scenes were in, in a row, sort of at the beginning, at the beginning of Act 3. Um, and they changed it to... No. It was at the mid, sort of middle end of Act 2, and they changed it to the beginning of Act 3, a point where Shirley's character has fired Nicholas's character. Um, and so Nick is no longer around when my, in that part of the film where my sequence is, which means I lost all my scenes with Nick, including a scene with Shirley when he was in the background. You know? So even though I didn't agree with that, at least it was done relatively legitimately for legitimate choices and, and not the kind of malicious uh, abuse that they did in sexual malice. Um, nonetheless, it was frustrating for me, and I've got uh, a movie that I'm very proud of, but I've got third billing, you know, showing the Nicholas Cage, showing the Edward Albert, uh, and I've got one scene in the film. And it's a very deep cast. I mean, with that one scene, I should have been down in the, the print that you got to put on your bifocals to read. <laughs> Next. Um, well, and once I figure the story out, I'd be happy to tell you. Uh, no, okay, the, the director is John Weidner, who's a very talented young director who was working in very difficult conditions, and I'm sure could have done um, a much better job if we'd been working under a professional situation. Uh, as it was, it was truly just survival on this part. Uh, the production company is Lightyear Productions, um, which actually I thought would be a better name for the movie. Um, the story of the movie essentially is, well, we're space marines and I'm Commander Gray. Um, and the kids used to call my room at the hotel Shea Gray. <laughs> because the door was always open and everybody was always there. You know? um, and I ended up teaching a couple of them guitar. My Edward Albert total satisfaction and some gratification of guitar method. <laughs> Even if you've never learned to touch the guitar in your life, but within five minutes I'll have you playing one of your favorite songs. And it's true, I'm good. Um, and I taught children uh, stick fighting and stuff, so we had a nice, a nice sort of uh, familial kind of thing. The story is essentially, we are space marines, um, there are space pirates who've stolen these high explosives and kidnapped and, you know, you know explode the galaxy. Um, and they've kidnapped um, some high-ranking uh, United Planets Council people, diplomats, and um, we've got to go in there and uh, rescue them. Um, that's essentially it, and just add um, 8,000 uh, pirates being, space pirates being shot, um, 4,000 explosions, and um, hopefully lots of terrific special effects. Um, and you've got the whole, whole ball of wax. Um, the producer, Talat Kaftan, um, also runs a special effects house in Los Angeles. So I have high hopes that the special effects in this will be high quality. Um, so very. <laughs> Yeah. I'm sorry, I can't quite quite be which story? Shower, although I didn't touch any of them, it was just the heat. Um, 
and I, uh, you know, uh, scrubbed myself 40 or 50 times, and uh, basically hopped in the car uh, to, to go to work. And Griffith Park is about uh, an hour's drive from my ranch. And, um, you know, I was driving on the Ventura Freeway, um, at uh, oh, somewhere maybe uh, 50 miles away. <laughs> and um, I pulled into the, the parking area at Griffith Park, and they broke it for uh, first meal, and there was the catering truck, and the whole crew was there, and all the, the, most of the cast and stuff. And I got out of the car, and people were sort of smiling, and I was waving and saying hi, good morning, everybody, and everything. And then women started to scream. <laughs> Men started to laugh. I checked my zipper. And I, I didn't know what the hell was. I'm looking at I'm trying, And I looked down and I see a rat run from under my car. And then I see three rats run from under my car. Then 20 rats run from under my car. And I mean, these poor little rodents had been hanging on the on the Ventura Freeway when I was going 150 miles an hour and I watched the white lines go by. I hope he's not driving in a van. <laughs> um, and uh, I mean, it was uh, embarrassing, but as I've found over the years, uh, the only thing you can do when you're in a highly embarrassing situation is to laugh like crazy. <laughs> um, so anyway, the next time uh, I showed up on the set, the entire crew, as if on cue, went, nah, 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 <laughs> So that sweet little violet of the forest that I am, there is the completely inappropriate nickname of Ratman among all the crew. <laughs> things that you wish you were. 